Okay, here we're moving up in the uh, challenge just a little bit. Distributive property advanced. So this looks similar to what we've seen before in the distributive property. However, we've got some signs to deal with as well as multiple terms. Well, the concept works the same. When we see something written like this, it means that the negative 6 gets distributed or multiplied by everything inside that parentheses. It doesn't matter if there's 2, 3, 4, 17, or 1,000 things inside that parentheses. It still gets distributed. So if we distribute these like so, we get the negative 6 times the 5y. Then we get the negative 6, the minus. See how these signs right here are the same. And then the minus 6 times the 2v. Then once again, these signs between the 2v part and the 3 part have to be the same and are multiplying the negative 6 times the 3. Then we simplify each of those parts. So if we simplify the negative 6 times the 5y, we get the negative 30y. The minus sign stays the same, so then we multiply the negative 6 times the 2v to get a negative 12v. We multiply the negative 6 times the 3 to get a negative 18, but be careful with those signs. Notice how those kind of, these signs stay the same, and these signs stay the same. So now we've got to deal with these signs, because here, if we look, we've got a negative of the negative 12v. So I always like to say, call this the secret invisible 1 here. This negative is the same thing as a negative 1 and this negative is the same thing as a negative 1. I don't know, that just helps me understand that that's the same thing as a negative 1 times a negative 12v which makes the positive 12v here. And then in this case it's a negative 1 times the negative 18 which makes a positive 18. So there's our final answer. We'll look at some more examples here. Here, the secret invisible one. Welcome to the secret invisible one club. That really helps. So if I sneak a secret invisible one in here, then it helps me understand that that's a negative one times all of these different parts. Okay, so again, this shows each and every step detail by detail. We have the negative one times the negative u right here. Our signs are the same. Between the u term and the w term, that's a negative. Right, that's right here. And then we have that secret invisible negative 1 times the d w. Then we have a plus sign. So our plus between the w part and the 2 part has to be the same. And then we have the secret invisible negative 1 times 2 simplifying the negative 1 times the negative 1u is a positive 1u or just a plain u. We have the minus sign, then we have negative 1 times w is a negative w, a negative 1 times 2 is a negative 2. Simplifying this right here, that becomes a positive 1 or just a positive w, positive 1w or just a plain positive w. So there's our final answer. Here's some more examples. Let's take a look here. So again, you could sneak in that secret invisible 1. This is the same thing as negative 1 times negative 3y minus 4x plus 1. So in your notebook you can write it like this. If you like doing the little arrows to help keep track of things, that's just fine. And then you can also keep track of your signs, so this is a little tip. You can keep track of your signs at the same time. 
So we have a negative 1 times a negative 3y. We could just say that's a positive 3y, because it is. And then we have the negative 1 times a negative 4x. And that makes a positive 4x, doesn't it? So we could just write it as a positive 4x. And then we have a negative 1 times a positive 1, and that's a negative 1. And all of our signs are automatically taken care of, and we're done in, in a l what seems to be a fewer steps. But we're really combining two steps in one. We're doing the multiplication and the signs together. OK, one more example. It sometimes can be written this way so that the number is in the back. We know from our previous uh, examples of distributive property that it works just the same. So if we just work it that way, it's OK. We've got a negative 6 times a 6. That's a negative 36. We've got a negative 6 times a negative 2x. That's a positive 12x. And then a negative 6 times a positive v makes a negative 6v. And that's it. We're done with our answer. OK, have fun.